today we check out the final character in God of Weapons. But first, up to 976 subscribers. You guys rock. So close to 1,000. And it's going up so quick. I'm happy. I'm super happy. The game is loading. It's opening up. This is a game where I definitely plan to follow any updates and check them out. Well, check out at least any major updates. But maybe even just the small ones. Right now, I feel pretty satisfied with the amount that I've gotten to play, like, recently. But if you give me, like, a week off from it, I'll want to go back and check out more. So, as long as the update isn't, like, tomorrow, I would play more. Alright, so we have plus five melee power, plus five vitality. Oh, one of the comments I got, there's supposed to be a dash. Oh, there is. It's just space bar. Okay, so one piece of feedback. You definitely want some kind of indicator to show when that is on cooldown and like how long until it's back. But that's pretty cool. I don't know how much it's actually going to help me. Okay, we're definitely going to need lifesteal unless I can get the range up. But it does AoE damage. I have to get close to these. Or recovery, or some kind of way to get health back. That barrel could have health. Okay, so let's look at this axe. Oh, I can't look at it yet. Look at all of this melee stuff. Okay, we only got one level up though. That is a problem. Darn. I will take... I think these are just three tall. I'm looking at the axe's shape. Let's go here. For each adjacent axe, it gets speed up. Critical chance for each adjacent dagger. Plus one damage for every one kill with this weapon. I think daggers might be the way to go. Just because they're small and the scaling damage one sounds kind of cool. I have to pay attention to it. Six damage. It can't be permanent. That just has to be throughout the level. What is the helmet? Armor plus recovery actually is pretty good. Okay, we'll take it. One gold remaining. Next floor. 47 HP. Let's see how good the recover. 49. 50. Because I plan on taking some damage, especially early on here. Since they only do like one damage per hit, this is the time for me to exchange my HP for experience. I shouldn't have got the food yet. Two level ups. Yeah, now is when I need to get some spaces. So. I want to see if you got a permanent upgrade, but I don't think you did. This axe looks massive. To fit that, I would have to have it. Do I think it takes... It might take one more space down. That's what I'm going with. It's only four spaces tall. Plus three damage for each adjacent axe. The thing is, I already have melee power of five. So it's better to get a bunch of small weapons. The DPS isn't that high. What's the range? 36, 36, 32, 32. Range ups would be big. Wait, plus one. Holy crap. Oh. No, that's not because it got a kill. Is it? Because that would be amazing. I don't think I'm going with the axes. In which case, this is a terrible setup. Um, hmm. I can fit one more. 
Could I fit more? I'm not sure. What does the belt do? Vitality armor. Armor would be good. I don't know how armor works at all. Still seems good though. Oh, I could just sit there and tank stuff. Let's look for more daggers. Especially if I can find these ones, if they do get... Okay, so that's interesting. This one has a plus one, this one does not. I think they get to keep those stats. And now this one is getting to touch three other daggers, so it has plus 15. So these ebony daggers, you really want to pick them up early if that's the case. Plus 10 range. I want it. Let's go. I can't fit it. I can fit it. In order to fit it. Do I just say forget about this dagger? I mean forget about the bonus on it. Can I fit that? Like I see two of them sideways. Third this way. Hmm. Put outside. So now you could fit, but I can't fit this dagger. I feel like I'm close. Close, but no cigar. I could just get rid of this one. I don't actually care about this one, and I don't want it to get kills, so we're getting rid of it. That's not part of my strategy. More recovery. Lots more recovery. For damage down. Armor plus recovery seems really good. I have no dodge chance, but that's fine. We just sit there. Next floor. Come hit me. The new plan is we just run at the enemies and get as many kills on these daggers as possible. Because the more kills they get, the more damage they'll do, the quicker they'll get kills in the future. Right? Problem is, I'm not seeing their damage numbers going up. Also, I'm taking a lot of damage. Let's go get that barrel. It did have food. Okay. Four spaces. We got another ebony. Let's go. To fit that. And another helmet. So really, I want these to be like six across. Huh. Is that what I want? I don't know what I want. You can't always get what you want. But if you try, sometimes you might just find. All right. What do we need? We need you to move here. No. You go here. Ebony dagger goes here. Plus one. Plus one. Plus two. How is it only plus two? Plus one damage. Every plus one kills with this weapon. It has to have gotten more kills than that. These are the only things getting kills. Armor and recovery. 12 recovery, 15 armor, 69 gold. Let's go. I don't actually need to run in and take the damage. Especially now that I have that range up, which I had last time too, but I was still running towards them. Another range up would be huge. 
Okay, I didn't need the food yet. Six seconds. Let's go towards that barrel for no reason. Holy crap, I just took some damage. But not that much damage, because I'm armored. I want to see what that sword does. Only two spaces. Great sword. Plus three max health for each adjacent sword. Not that cool. I only have two spaces. More recovery is tempting. Let's just do that. Call it good. How are these doing? Plus one. Plus two DPS. Plus three. Plus five DPS. Plus two. Plus three. I would expect one of these to just like skyrocket because it should be getting lots of kills. Plus one damage. Every plus one kills with this weapon. That's so weird. If I can get one more sharp and swift though, we get more attack speed and more crit. So getting another dagger would be huge. Let's look for it. I'd have to sell two things. Oh. Melee power minus lifesteal. I don't have lifesteal anyways, and... Oh. I think it might be worth it. I had just bought that. Wait, but there's a range up. Um, hmm. To get the range up, I would have to sell helmet. We're just going to go with this for now. Next floor. So much thought. The range up would be big. These attack fairly quick, too. I do see the number went up with that melee power up. It went up significantly. We gotta level up. I want one more level up at least. Okay, I'm tanking a lot of big hits. Way too many. Just running at enemies is not the best strategy. Okay. Good heal. Good gold. Lore cleared. I didn't get a second level up. What is this sword? Two spaces. I would like the second range up. To do that, I'm going to have to get rid of a helmet or the glove. The glove was good, though. I get rid of this helmet. Plus two damage for each other sword in inventory. Meh. Damage is different than melee power, though. What are these up to? Plus 4 damage. Plus 7 DPS. I do need one more melee weapon. And these ones only take 3 spaces. But I do like them. And it's better to get them earlier. So I could get rid of either the glove. I'd probably get rid of a helmet. If I got rid of the helmet, could I fit one more ebony dagger? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Lifesteal plus 15% if not placed near any other lifestealing weapon. This thing would have 25% lifesteal and I do extra melee damage. That would be a huge heal. I don't know if it's enough to give up the armor and the recovery. That's what I wanted. All of these are level 1 daggers, though. Still, I mean, I think we just stick with tier 1 forever with those. Okay, now comes the question, can I actually make this work? I think so. They don't have to be touching each other. Bam. 
now they all get that. Oh, they just keep getting more bonuses based on how many I have. <laughs> Oops. Still, having five weapons that get plus 8% crit chance, plus 8 attack speed. It's just good, I think. Okay, I think that's going to be it for my weaponry. Range went up, which is big. And these seem to pierce. Because they're melee. So even more range would be good. The crits are nice. Seeing those crits pop up. God, if you could get a ton of range, it would just destroy things. Because everything that gets within range dies pretty quickly. I was running from that shot, but not, like, actually avoiding it. Four spaces is nice. I forget what that claw is. I don't think I care about it. I could get range up. Get range up. Let's go. Here? Here. There's still a chance I get it. Got it. Agile Blessed. So this just does big crits. Picks up four space. Agile Blessed. Eh. Okay, which... We're only on floor six. I don't know if there's single space items yet. What would I be looking for? Plus six, plus six, plus four, plus one. I could actually still sell this one for a higher tier dagger. I could get rid of the helmet. I don't really want to. If this was higher tier, I'd be tempted. I don't even know what I... There's a higher tier. I'm going to get rid of the helmet. We'll see if I regret that. Take the tier two. Call it good. What do you do? You just start at 8 D DPS. So yeah, this one is better than this tier one is. But not by all that much. A little bit. The daggers aren't, like, amazing or anything. I do like when they get out of sync instead of all of them being in sync. That feels pretty good, having a lot of daggers. Plus, I think I'm 30 range now. Okay, I could use that. The food will come to me at the end of the level. So as long as I'm not about to die, it's not a priority to pick it up. Only one level up. Got the food. This, I think, is a lifesteal glove. I could look for upgraded daggers. This one's already eight. Weird that it says 10 plus five. Oh, is the plus five the melee power? Huh. It might be. And like with the damage multiplier, except I don't have damage up. So the base number on this is 8. The base number on this is 8. No, that can't be right, because then they'd all have the same thing in the green text. I don't understand. At all. Okay. Who knows? Next floor. I don't feel like my DPS is going to be high enough. So, so far I've only life steal, life stole, three HP worth. Life steal is not doing all that much. A little bit. I feel like the recovery items might actually be better 
given my current DPS. Which is weird, because it seems like I'm doing a lot of DPS. Like, if I'm doing 100 damage per second, I would expect to be getting 4 HP per second back from this glove. That didn't seem to be the case. Alright, we only get two spaces. I don't know. Just put it there. Adjacent armor plus two armor. Meh. What would I roll for? Can I get single space items yet? I'm not seeing any. This one would be kind of nice just because I could surround it. If there was like a tier four of this, maybe I would be tempted. Is that plus critical chance just for this dagger? I think it is. It can't be upping all of my critical chance, or else this would actually be insane. Yeah. Critical damage 250%. Let's look for an upgraded one of those. This isn't that great. Crit chance. This actually is pretty great. Um... The lifesteal just isn't that good. It's okay. I don't think there are one space items yet. Let's just go. It's probably floor 10. I always want more range. Go check that barrel. Carol just had gold. Right, I forgot completely, but I do have a dash. I wonder if you can dash through enemies. Like, without getting hit. Feels like you would be able to. My memory is so, like, short-term. Darn it, I took damage there. I came out of the dash into an enemy. You can dash through enemies, though. Two level ups. Let's go. Could take the life steal. Let's roll. What is this one? 72 range. Could get my range up by getting this thing. It's only 21 gold. Only 10 range, too. 10 range is pretty significant. I think I could do better than that, but it's only 21 gold. Let's get it for now. Hmm. Plus one dash. So now I know what dashes are. This one seems important to me. Especially, I already have one of them. To fit another. What is the easiest way? Put that outside. I'm going to puzzle this out. No, cancel. Okay. So lots of crit chance. 23% crit chance. Six, seven. Huh. That dagger might give crit chance to everything if I get that one dagger. This would be kind of good. I don't think it's amazing. Uh, 
5% damage. I can't even fit it if I do find the dagger. Let's just continue on. This is fun. I like this build. Darn it, I just got hit for nine. Not having armor hurts. Okay, why aren't we firing? I feel like I was close enough to those enemies that I should have been firing that whole time. Okay, the dash is pretty nice. I think I'm in trouble. Sixteen seconds left. These barrels need to have good stuff. Barrel have food. No food. Okay. I got two level ups. Okay, with those level ups, I could get lifesteal. And it gives me more crit chance. Yeah, that's definitely an option. My dodge chance is like nothing. Okay, but I only have 2% lifesteal because you... What gives the negative lifesteal? you that's a tough call the melee power is really good plus two percent lifesteal for each adjacent pull arm no tier three starts with 10 damage So this one, 10 damage, 17 DPS, plus 7. Yeah, I just don't know. I'm just trying to think. Crit chance for minus lifesteal. Scimitar. These get big crits. Oh. Could just take this. I don't really want that. I want a glove. Running low on gold. I think this is the last reroll. Nothing. Well, no, this is the one that I want. Um, but I want an upgraded version of it. I lower my damage so much if I take this. I don't want this as tier one, do I? So the big question is, I put you outside. I'm willing to spend 17 gold to figure this out. So I have 23 crit chance. This only brought it to 25, which is weird. So it only raised it because I got the sharp bonus. Now this one gets plus 10% crit, but it does not give me a global plus 10%. Okay, good. Sell it. Yeah, I'm still at 25. All right, I learned things. Minus attack speed. We'll do it. I have plus 14. Now it's plus 13. Luck and crit chance, maybe those are good. Crit chance is definitely good. Maybe luck's good. Okay, these things are fast. I'm kind of worried about this floor. Can I make it 30 seconds? I was going to say with a good barrel, maybe. 
I might just need to take that food. Let's go get another barrel. Just gold. Two barrels. Okay. I don't know if that was worth taking all that damage. Especially that shield didn't even avoid me any damage. Two seconds. I need to heal. Ah, piercing doesn't help. This is range damage. Neither of those help. I don't know if there are any good one size ones, now that I think about it. This fits up with my other gloves. Yeah, that's projectile. Could take the helmet. Right now, I don't have recovery. Or armor. Oh. Let's take it. It's pretty cheap. Minus lifesteal. No, because I currently do have positive lifesteal. This would be good. Okay, so now I have more life steal, more crit, more attack speed. I think that's good. <laughs> Next floor. Floor 12. Is this the final floor for me? Or will I recover my health because I have lifesteal? Okay, I just took a ton of damage. I do see some ones popping up. We just got a 32. That was really lucky until I did that. When you run straight into enemies, they hit you multiple times very quickly. Like, it's not that they even have some kind of, like, wind up and attack. It's just, if you contact them, you take damage. I kind of wish the enemies had some kind of actual attack instead of just, if you touch them, you take damage. Kind of. More lifesteal would be kind of nice. I think... That's what I'm going with. Next floor. Okay, I need my weapons to go off. Okay, took 10 damage. Gotta level up. Okay, weapons! What the hell is going on with my weapons? Break those barrels. Okay. 9 HP. I could die at any second. I need that barrel. 9 seconds. This barrel would do too. 5 HP. Run away. What if you die after the level? That would be kind of funny. Four spaces. I don't feel good about this next floor. Dagger build. Not amazing. Let's see what our daggers are up to. Plus 13. That DPS is decent. 18 plus 13. Yeah, I still don't understand these daggers all the way. I could take this. Maybe that's worth doing. Huh. Thinking about it. Just for the lifesteal? Does that make sense? 
kind of. Um, I still have to rearrange a little bit. Why is this one in the middle? That didn't make much sense. So that would fit now. No, it wouldn't. But, I mean, I can make that fit. That would fit now. That's what I'm going with. And we just hope that that lifesteal is enough. Minus five vitality would be pretty scary. Current health is six. Getting some recovery would be nice. Still six for my current HP. I was curious if it would go up when I got rid of some of the vitality. What was the item that gave me vitality every round? That was something. It was a red thing. The chalice. If I could find the chalice, that would be huge. Hmm. So this thing could get huge crit damage. Really, I'm just looking for the chalice. I say that. The lifesteal doesn't seem to be doing much. I got some extra lifesteal from this. Chalice? Last try. Nope. Next floor. I don't even know if that chalice is available yet. 8 HP. Okay. It is stealing life, I think. Maybe. It should have 40% life steal. It should be stealing more than this. Okay. There was food. I... I might end up playing another one in two days. There are other games I want to check out on itch.io. I want to try the other melee builds. I might give it a few days and then come back and try another melee build. I don't know. Give me feedback in the comments if you want to see more of this, if you want to see it soon, if you want a little break and then we check it out when there's an update or just when I feel like playing again. But yeah, for now, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.